No effort, patience, skill, and expense is spared in the preparation of the dancers' costumes. Threads of gold and silver abound. The unbelievable attention to details displayed by the ancient sculptors in the decorative sculptures of Angkor is evident in the fanciful designs and adornments of these colorful costumes. A born twin to the dance, the masks, or the art of making them, have outlived the thousand years. They will last as long as the ballet endures, for they are essential to the royal dance. Making the masks is one of the traditional arts taught at the École des Beaux-Arts. It is there where the masks of the royal dancers are made. Although the female roles do not use them, most of the male roles require masks to represent the characters depicted. expensive item of the dancer's costume, the makat, or crown, is usually made of gold. In the olden days, royal dancers performed in the half-clad fashion of the legendary Apsaras. His Majesty, King Ong Dong Hariak Uriamea, who reigned from 1841 to 1860, commanded full costumes for the dancers. In themselves, the jewelry and costumes are worth a fortune. Gold, silver, diamonds, and other precious stones ornament the costumes of brocade, lame, or silk of each principal character. the dancers are also made and repaired at the Ecole des Beaux-Arts. These again, like the postures and gestures and the masks, are a part of the tradition of the dance. Each piece of jewelry is a replica and design of the ornaments worn by the stone apsaras of Angkor.